Hello everyone. My name is Harsh Joshi. I am a student of IIPS DAVV. Currently, I am pursuing Integrated M Tech in Information Technology. Uh, this is a part of my Advanced Java assignment, which was given by Dr. Nitin Nagar sir. Uh, the topic that I am going to cover in this video is Remote Method Invocation. So, topic to be covered: Remote Method Invocation, Implementing the Remote Interface. compiling and executing the server and the client side so what is rmi so rmi stands for remote method invocation the rmi is an api that provides a mechanism to create distributed application in java the rmi allows an object to invoke methods on an object running in another jvm uh, the rmi provides remote communication between the application using two object stub and skeleton Uh, so basically, RMI is used to invoke a method that is running on another JVM that is Java Virtual Machine. So, stub object. The stub is an object act as a gateway for the client side. All the outgoing requests are routed through it. It resides at the client side and represents the remote object. When the caller invokes method on the stub object, it does the following task. It initiates a connection with remote virtual machine. It writes and tra transmits the parameters to the remote virtual machine. It waits for the result. It reads the return value or exception, and it finally returns the value to the caller. A skeleton object. The skeleton is an object act as a gateway for the server side object. All the incoming requests are routed through it. When the skeleton receives the incoming request, it does the following task. It reads the parameter for the remote method. It invokes the method on the actual remote object, and it writes and transmits the result to the caller. Uh, these are the six steps to write the RMI program. First one is create the remote interface. Second, provide the implementation of the remote interface. Third, compile in the implementation class and create the stub skeleton object using the RMI C tool. And fourth one, start the registry service by RMI uh, registry tool. Fifth, uh, create and start the remote application. And sixth one is create and start the client application. So first one, create the st uh, remote interface. Uh, for creating the remote interface. extend the remote interface and declare the remote exception with all the method of the remote interface here we are creating a remote interface that extends the remote interface there is only one method named add and it declares remote exception so this is the program so so work, to work with rmi uh, we have to import the package java.rmi.h uh, public interface adder extends remote and uh, we created a class here and that is add and uh, it takes two parameters x and y second one provide the implementation of the remote interface now provide the implementation of the remote interface for providing the implementation of the remote interface we need to extend the unicast remote object class you must uh, define a constructor that declares remote exception so here is the program import java.rmi.sh and uh, one more thing that we import is here is java.rmi.server.h uh, public class adder remote extend unicast remote object implements adder and uh, this is a constructor that we used to, to throw the remote exception adder remote and uh, here we define our class uh, and create third one is create the stub and skeleton object using the rmic tool next step to create stub and skeleton object using the rmi compiler the rmic tool invokes the rmi compiler and create stub skeleton object uh, so this is how we can do rmic adder remote start the registry service by the rmi registry tool now the start the registry service by using the rmi registry tool if you don't specify by the port number it uses a default port number in this example we are using the port number 5000 create and run the server application now rmi service needs to be hosted in the server process the naming class provides method to get and store the remote object uh, this is a program java first of all importing the package uh, creating a server class uh, my server class and 
it is a main class and we have to create an object of a adder after that we use a remind method uh, after that we catch the exception uh, sixth one is create and run the client application at the client we are getting the stop object by the lookup method of the naming class and invoking the method on this object in this example we are running the server and client application in the same machine so we, we are using the local host if you want to access the remote object from the another machine change the local host to the uh, host name or ip address where the remote object is located uh, this is the program uh, here we create a my client class main function uh, making object of header class after that printing the sum of two numbers that is 34 plus 4 uh, and kept catching the exception for running this RMI example uh, first of all we have to compile all the file java files uh, after that create stub and skeleton object by RMI2 start RMI registry in one command prompt start the server in another command prompt start the client application in another command prompt this is the output of the following program and here we can see that 34 plus 4 that is 38 here we get the output this is references and thank you so much for watching this video